For 200 years, the Conservative and Unionist Party of the United Kingdom has bravely and consistently betrayed not only its own voter base, but all native peoples of the British Isles. From constitutional reforms to dissolving the British Empire, from desecration of tradition to importing endless migrants, it is the Conservative Party that has been on the forefront of the destruction of this ancient people and their lands. I am immensely proud of what we have managed to achieve as a party, taking the greatest empire to ever span the face of the earth to being a pathetic, miserable and broken nation mocked the world over. In recent years we have greatly accelerated our plans to crush the ethnic Britons, making sure we openly show our hatred to you at every turn. And let me be clear, we do hate you, we despise you. We have not done enough though. Despite all of our betrayal, our blatant loathing of you, you still vote for us. Even as we refuse to simply deliver a referendum, and then when we do we subvert your wishes by then opening our borders to the world, even as we take all of your wealth and make the promised public services completely unusable, there are still some of you who vote for us. It is you, our voters, who we find the most disgusting. To combat this, I am incredibly proud to introduce our new policy, Zero Seats. Zero Seats is the policy where we shall do everything possible to make sure at the next general election, we as a party obtain zero seats. You will have already seen zero seats in action, such as arguing over how much of your money to send to foreign conflicts that are nothing to do with you, or straight up making you homeless as we lavishly treat foreign peoples and hand over your property to them, and then criminally punishing you if you so much as point any of this out. So please, when you think about the next election, think zero seats. If we all play our part, we can finally make zero seats a reality.